Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hello everybody, Jim here, Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. You know, I often read all of your comments and I realize that there are a lot of people that are very stressed out uh, with this disease because, let's face it, it is a very stressful thing and it's kind of like a dark cloud hanging around all the time. We're always thinking about our blood sugars and our health. And uh, so that's a natural response. So I thought today we would dedicate a video as sort of a mental uplift. I wanted to specifically talk about all the advancements that have been made in this disease in the last 20 years. Now I've been waiting for four to almost 43 years for a cure, but I'm telling you, and I have said it in numerous videos, we have made tremendous strides in not only maintaining our health, but also toward an overall cure. We're gonna cover all of that today and I hope you're gonna get something out of this. Hit the like and subscribe button if you would and we will get right down to it, taking a good look at how far we have come with type one diabetes in the last 20 years. 20 years of progress in type one diabetes mellitus. Over the last 20 years, progress in type 1 diabetes mellitus, T1D, has been dramatic in understanding the disease, improving management, and advancing toward disease-modifying and curative therapies. Here's a structured summary. 1. Disease, Understanding, Genetics, and Risk Profiling Identification of 60 genetic loci associated with T1D Use of HLA typing and polygenic risk scores for early prediction Immune mechanisms, better mapping of autoimmune pathways, T cells, B cells, cytokines, discovery of early biomarkers, islet autoantibodies, C peptide decline, metabolic shifts. Staging framework, redefinition of T1D into stages. Stage 1, autoantibodies, normal glucose, stage 2, dysglycemia, stage 3, clinical diagnosis. 2. Prevention and immune therapies. Teplizumab, sealed, FDA approved 2022 delays onset of stage 3 T1D by 2 years. Ongoing trials, antigen-specific tolerance therapies, oral antigen vaccines, regulatory T-cell, TREG therapy. Efforts to intervene earlier in autoimmunity using immune checkpoint modulation and tolerogenic dendritic cells. 3. Insulin therapies. Rapid and ultra-rapid insulins, FIASP, Liumgev. Weekly insulins, insulin f alpha, awaiting approval. Advances in inhaled insulin, Afreza, for ultra-rapid action. 4. Technology and Digital Health Continuous Glucose Monitoring CGM From finger sticks to real-time CGMs with predictive alerts, time and range as a new standard outcome. Automated Insulin Delivery AI, Hybrid Closed Loop Systems, Medtronic 780G, Tandem Control IQ, Omnipod 5, Emerging Fully Closed Loop Artificial Pancreas Algorithms, Dose Calculators, Pattern Recognition, AI-Driven Coaching. 5. Cell Replacement and Regenerative Medicine Here's the big stuff for all type 1 searching for a cure. Islet transplantation, proof of insulin independence but limited by immune rejection and donor scarcity. Stem cell derived islets, Vertex VX880, early successes with insulin independence. Cernova cell pouch via site CRISPR, sauna hypoimmune cells, progressing toward immunosuppression free transplantation. Encapsulation and gene editing, devices and immune evasive engineering to protect grafts. 6. Adjunctive Therapies GLP-1 GIP Agonists Explored for Weight, Insulin Sensitivity, and Adjunct Control Oral Drugs and Development, Ketosegliadin and Others That May Reduce Insulin Needs 7. Patient Outcomes Life Expectancy in T1D has improved by over a decade due to tighter glycemic control, CGM, and statins and antihypertensives Rates of severe hypoglycemia, DKA, and complications have declined Quality of life improved through reduced burden of monitoring and better therapy personalization. 20 years of progress in type 1 diabetes. Here's a snapshot. 2005-2010 widespread use of long-acting analog insulins, Lantus, Levomir. First commercial continuous glucose monitors, CGM, Dexcom STS, Medtronic Guardian. Islet transplantation proves possible insulin independence, Edmonton protocol, but limited by immunosuppression. 
2010 to 2015, faster acting insulin analogs enter clinical use. Closed loop systems, early artificial pancreas trials show feasibility. Growing evidence for genetic and environmental risk factors. 2015 to 2020, hybrid closed loop AI systems become available. Medtronic 67G FDA approval in 2016. Time in range TIR introduced as a new glucose control metric. Ultra long insulin, Traceba approved, improving basal flexibility. Immune therapies, teplizumab, abacept, low dose ATG, show ability to preserve beta cell function in new onset T1D. 2020-2022 teplizumab, FDA approved in 2022, first drug to delay onset of stage 3 T1D. CGM becomes standard of care with 50% of T1Ds in developed countries using it. 2023, insulin independence with stem cell-derived islets, Vertex VX880 clinical trial data. Omnipod 5, first tubeless aid system launches. Automated insulin delivery adoption accelerates worldwide. 2024 CRISPR edited islets via site plus Vertex plus SANA show potential to evade immune attack. Digital health plus AI integration, algorithms predicting hypoglycemia before it happens. T1D prevention trials expand with antigen-specific immunotherapies, oral insulin, DNA vaccines, nanoparticle-based tolerance. 2025, today. Stem cell-derived islet therapies like SANA hypoimmune cells, Cernova cell pouch, Poltreg treg therapy are in mid-stage clinical testing, aiming for insulin independence without immunosuppression. Weekly insulin, Efsatora Alpha approaching regulatory approval. Oral drugs like catasegliatin in Phase 3 may reduce insulin needs. AI-based risk prediction enables identification of people before symptoms. In summary, from fingerstick glucose and animal insulins in the early 2000s, to real-time CGM, automated insulin delivery, immune-modifying drugs like teplizumab and stem cell-derived islet replacement in 2025, the past 20 years have transformed T1D from reactive management to proactive, technology-driven, and potentially disease-modifying care. Well, I hope you got something out of that. Uh, I think that the big takeaway here is that there's been an advancement of 10 years in the average diabetic life cycle. We can attribute that to the things like glucometers, uh, you know, artificial pancreas, all those things that help us to control our blood sugars. Plus, there's just overall more knowledge out there right now. Even if all you have is access to insulin and carb counting, we know so much more on how to maintain this disease than we did 20 years ago. Then on the flip side, there are all kinds of medical advancements to the point that I'm confident in the next three to five years, we're gonna have a complete cure. So I hope you got something out of this today. I know that this is a drag to live with, but um, know that we are making progress. So when you get depressed about the fact that you don't think this is ever gonna be cured, I think you should get that out of your mind. All you have to do is stay healthy until the cure comes and uh, we can all do that together. We'll have another very exciting video for you here real soon. All things diabetic right here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Now you have a healthy day, okay?